through here up for stamping and I'm having to make a batch of decorated pegs because I'm going to be clipping up some cards tomorrow uh, on a stall that I'm doing and so I've already made a start and I thought I'd show you them and then also just show you quickly how I'm doing it so uh, first of all what I do is I decorate my pegs by just stamping on them and I'm stamping on them with a black archival ink just in case they get damp at all or something and my tip for if you have a stamp that you're wanting to use I mean some of the really big stamps are fantastic for this because I, I usually just ink up a big stamp and then just press the the pegs into them but if you have a stamp that doesn't reach the entirety of your peg then because you've got that sort of middle section there I just stamp to that point there and then turn it round and stamp again so you know you can't really see that there's a problem that you know that there's no join there okay and then I've dug out my old faithful love this stamp set um, it's called flower shop and it's just got six floral images that coordinate with uh, the fabulous punch that makes life so much easier when you're having to cut out a whole load of uh, different things so I'm just gonna and if you're wondering what that red spot is at the bottom it's to tell me to have it facing downwards on the card to make life easier when I go to punch it out okay so here we go so do say hi if you're watching and uh, if you're not watching me live and you've got any questions then please post the, your questions in the box below and I will try to answer them as soon as I can so if you're from the UK and you're new to or from Europe and you're new to my scope uh, it's not scope sorry this is YouTube live um, and you'd like to shop any of the products that you're seeing today then please go to artfulstampin.co.uk and you'll find them there hi Deb and hi Sally nice to have you join me girls so I'm just punching out these flowers and as you can see this punch just makes life so much easier imagine having to cut these out all by hand um, I would not even consider doing this project I don't think if I hadn't got this punch because it's just too much like hard work not that I don't like hard work but you know I'd reconsider my options put it that way okay so now what you can see me doing is giving these flowers a little bit of a tweak at the petals just to make them a little bit more 3d and this is just a kind of pair of pointy nose tweezers that you can purchase quite inexpensively and i just pop them onto there hold it down and squeeze uh, not squeeze twist squeeze and twist actually squeeze my left hand and twist with my right obviously if you're left-handed then you just swap it around so I just like to do that because I don't like my flowers looking too flat. But that's just me, that's my taste. So if you don't mind, that's fine, leave them as they are. There we go, so quite quickly it just gives that extra little bit of dimension there. Okay, so I'm going to have my trusted hot glue gun here because it just makes sticking a little bit quicker. There we go that on right I think I'm going to line these up in a row because I could probably get away with doing three in one go oops I've gotten to do that one there we go there we go easy peasy lemon squeezy pop that on Okay, so those are all stuck on. So now I think I'm just going to add a little bit of a uh, decoration in the form of a little sticker. These are like the white sticky dots that you can get from Stampin' Up. I'm just going to pop one of those in the centre. Because this design is, I've got, um, it's got 
design all the way to the middle. I don't feel like I need to use the bigger dots like I did with the other ones. So this is a great project to sort of show that Stampin' Up! is not just about making cards or doing scrapbooking. Uh, you can do lots of home decor projects with stamps. You know, just think of stamps as almost like a paintbrush. You know, you could you can put them on lots of different media. I've stamped onto fabric and and, and um, I've seen them being stamped onto tiles, things like that, to make coasters and that sort of thing. So um, do have a go at, you know, thinking outside the box, you know, how else you can use your stamps. And... Um, I'm just going to carry on making a few of these because I think I've got 45 to make. And so far I've now made 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So a few more to go tonight. Right, well, thank you for joining me, whether it's live or um, on replay. And uh, do leave a note or a little comment if uh, you have any questions. Okay, take care. Bye bye for now.